It starts on uh, 2 minutes and 50 seconds in the song. It's a very simple lick. <clears throat> so let's explain it. Uh, what I'm doing with my right hand is I'm, you know, I, I pretend to be a classical player. So I'm walking these two fingers uh, over the string. I keep my wrist, you know, slightly bent outwards like this and I treat this as if I were you know holding a bicycle bar handle or maybe a tennis ball but loose and you know I, 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 I support myself with my thumb on my on the third or on whichever string you feel most comfortable with and then I what I do is I just try not to hit the thumb, so I have full range movement here. First string, and then as the melody progresses, I just switch strings. So it takes a bit of practice for you guys who are starting out. So. So it's open string, one, two, three. And then we have, we have, uh, D on the B string. One, two, three, four, five. So five times. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Then another three notes uh, on the first fret B string. This is C note. And then an A on the G string, second fret, five times. So again, slowly. So it's an A minor pentatonic based lick and what you can do with it uh, so as not to stay in the same position here we can switch some notes around so first thing that comes in mind is the E note you know when you tune up your guitar you have the E note here second uh, second string of fifth fret fifth fret man here yes so, so this way you only have one vertical switch from the B to the G string, but you keep this shit horizontal. Okay, and then uh, since we have this note, <coughs> if you really don't want to switch uh, from the string and you want to work on the right hand, you just uh, start out with um, the E note is here, uh, so it's ninth fret G string. So you get a good layout of the uh, pentatonic scale. So this is the root note. This is the uh, minor third, four, fifth, the seven, and the octave up here on the twelfth fret. Uh, sorry, the fourteenth fret. What is wrong with me? A lot of things. So are you following this? So we're going. And you can start improvising on that, you know. Just by, you know, jumping around on this one string, but, you know, respecting the positions that I've shown you. Yeah, I guess that's it. Another thing is, uh, so try to make yourself remember that uh, since we're starting on the E note, this is going to be our, you know, the starting point. So wherever you find an E note, you try and feel out where the rest of the fra phrase is. Now I'm talking vertically, not across one string, but like across a couple of strings. So try out various positions. So just.
just find the E note. Okay, next one would be. Like I said, it's a pentatonic, A minor pentatonic position. So you're up here in this box, the 5, 8, the 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8. <coughs> and then, also here, G string, D string, 10, 7. something from the song you like and try to take it a step further but you know try to have enough concentration and focus to analyze it to know the notes that you're playing and then switch it around move it around and you know next time you're in band rehearsal or you just want to jam uh, over a certain track for instance the lick that I show you here is uh, just you know just find a backing track in a minor and you can use these couple of notes switch them around and uh, away you go you start improvising thank you for watching and stay tuned for more I'm gonna talk about the end lick uh, and the losing my religion song bye